you been hearing a lot about UGC or you may be wondering what the heck that even is and how you can use it to boost your handmade sales. The good news is that it's got a lot of potential for your handmade shop. So let's take a look at what it is today and how you can use it to boost your sales. Ready? Let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Deb and I'm the founder of Physico, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community to visit HQ via the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation. What is UGC and how can you use it to make more sales? So before we get started, let's take a minute to talk about the definition, right? What is it? User generated content or UGC for short is content that's been created, published or submitted by users of a brand. So basically anything that's not created by you or your brand, but by other people that are actually using your product. It could be a customer that's posting a picture of your product on their social because you know, they've bought it and they love it and they want to share it with their social, anything like that. In the past, it was mostly reviews and posts were coming from actual customers. They would post something about the product that they bought or say, you know, hey, I purchased this and it's so cute. Or perhaps they would post a picture of like the unboxing or their review. So basically just reviews and social proof were what made up a company's user generated content. But now UGC has risen to a whole new level. It's not just free publicity that a brand gets from unpaid customer reviews and posts. People are becoming UGC creators. So they're actually paid to create content to share in the form of images, videos, social media posts, reviews, or testimonials. I'll be sharing some examples of UGC and show you where to find plenty to inspire you. So if you're still a little bit unsure as to what a UGC post might look like, keep watching. This is something that has exploded in the e-commerce world, but I'm not seeing a lot of handmade sellers use it. And I want that to change because I think there's a huge potential there for you guys to use UGC as well. So at this point, if you're thinking, but isn't that what influencers do? Good question. It's different. See, influencers have an audience and you as the brand want to work with them so that they talk about your products to their audience and their following, right? UGC creators do not have an audience or following and they don't need to because they're not the ones posting the content. They're just creating it, then send it back to you, the brand, so that you can post it on your accounts either as an organic post or as a paid ad. Now this content will look very genuine because it's not branded content. The brand isn't creating it. You're not creating it. The UGC creators are. And so it looks a bit more off the cuff. I'm sure you've seen those videos on social media where someone is like, I've just received this beautiful mascara and my eyelashes, they look absolutely glorious. That usually I've got very thin eyelashes, but now I've been using this for a month and wow, look at the volume. I mean, I'm totally making that up and I'm making a bit of fun of the mascara industry here, but you get my point. You've seen those kind of like, um, review slash testimonials videos being shared a lot on social about people reviewing products, showing products, sharing their experiences with products. In most of those instances, this is UGC content, right? User generated content that's been created very likely by a paid UGC creator. Now, I also didn't pick this example randomly. I'm using cosmetic and mascara as a bit of a joke, but it's also because it was mostly used UGC content for beauty and cosmetics, but now you can find it for all kinds of products and it's amazingly effective. Okay, now that we're clear on what paid UGC actually is, <laughs> hopefully you're clear. <laughs> Let's talk about how you can find UGC creators and how you can use UGC for your handmade products. And let's quickly run through actually to start how you can boost your brand and your sales, right? So my first point is, and it's huge, is that it builds authenticity and trust with potential customers. People trust real people more than they trust branded advertisements. So when your socials features UGC, it shows customers how real people are using your products in real world settings. UGC is also hot at the moment because short format video is huge. So people like it and they engage with it. So it's really helping e-commerce businesses sell more online. This is yet another reason that you will want to start creating it and using it to increase sales for your handmade shop because it's got higher engagement. According to Gartner Research, 84% of millennials and 60% of boomers say UGC influences they purchase purchase decisions. When you build trust, when you build better engagement, guess what? You'll start seeing higher conversion, more revenue per visitor, higher sales for your shop in general. So I hope you're convinced and I hope you're excited 
but you're probably thinking, okay, this whole user generated content thing is genius. <laughs> How can I find those creators though to market my products? And it's much easier than you might think. You literally just go to Google and you type in something like UGC creators and you'll find platforms that'll put you in touch with UGC creators and you can post a brief and hire someone to work with you. When you use these platforms, your goal is to partner with creators and have them create authentic and organic content that aligns with your brand values and resonates with your target audience. So let's look at Billow, for example. This is Billow. I hope I'm actually pronouncing this right, but I quite like it, Billow. <laughs> um, and to be clear, I'm not endorsing this website specifically. This is, just a, this is just one of many that you could use. I haven't used it myself. I'm just showing it to you more so, so that we can have a look at examples and to kind of encourage you to have a look yourself on that website for different use cases, for different uh, type of videos and content that you could be receiving based on the kind of products that you're selling. So what you want to do is go to use cases, have a look under what uh, the category that your products would fall under. Um, most of those are going to be covered, like, you know, most of you guys are going to be in the home or consumer good or apparel or, you know, kids, pets. I mean, you can do a video about anything. If you can't find your specific industry here, still have a look at what's being done under those different categories, because it doesn't mean that you can't do a video for your products. It just means it hasn't been categorized quite yet on their, you know, in their menu. Um, but have a look around. And so I'm going to pick pets because pets are just the best. Um, <laughs> and let's have a look here. So if you scroll, you can see uh, a few different categories of videos that you might be get, getting or ordering. So video ads, testimonials, unboxing, how to 360 showcases. So again, you know, this might not be the product that you're selling, but if you're selling a collar, a pet, you know, coat or vest, a leash, whatever it is that you're selling for pets, maybe dog treats, um, you can have a video made about that specifically. So don't get stuck in thinking, well, I don't sell exactly this product. Just imagine what it could look like for your products, right? So if you look at testimonials, we're going to have more videos where that's going to look like someone's used the product and is really happy about it. So let's click on this one, for example. I haven't watched it, but let's do it together. I love my doggy diaper bag from Ruby Lou. It comes with everything I need to take Tuli on a hike and keep her happy. Two bowls, a lined placemat, a large lined food bag, and a small lined treat bag. It's adjustable and has a bag dispenser. Every dog mom needs this backpack. Yeah, so that's an example. This one had a bit more of a, you know, cheery voice kind of vibe, and that might work for you, it might not. Um, it just really depends, and they're not all like that, so you want to find a creator that's going to have the kind of vibe and the kind of tone of voice and all of that that's going to work for you, but you can also specify that in your brief. So just have a look for other examples. Um, unboxing, um, how to, uh, how to is pretty cool as well. Pretty, pretty cool kind of content. Um, video ads. Let's look at another one together. So I'm just going to click on this one. I just got my wild one goodies and take this as a sign to go ahead and spoil your best friend because look at this treat bag. It has separate pockets just for the poop bags, one for treats and one for your personal items like your keys and your phone. Your doggy bag doesn't have to be ugly. Your pup can look cute and so can you. So this one's got more of a call to action on top as well that kind of say, hey, gets, you know, get 15% off. That would be great to use for an ad, uh, which is why it's categorized under video ads. So again, just have a look around and um, in different categories. You can also look by, uh, by channel. So if you want something specifically for TikTok or for YouTube, it might look a little different. So have a look at what you could be getting back. Um, and remember, if you're seeing mostly products that aren't handmade yet, it's because, again, a lot of handmade sellers don't know about UGC or are not using it or think it's not for them, uh, but you can use it. Any kind of products that you guys are making, I'm sure are like 95% that you could create UGC content for it. There's people creating UGC content for blankets and, you know, throws and plant pots and wall art and just anything really that you guys might be making and selling. Um, so again, explore, have a look, get inspired. Uh, and this is one website, but there's plenty others that you could also have a look at. So as you can see, there's really no limits to what you can use UGC for. I mean, no, there are some limits, <laughs> but typically for most of you guys, for any kind of handmade products that you might be selling, you can find a UGC creator that's willing to work with you to create some really amazing content that you can then use to promote those products. So once you have an idea of the type of content that you want and that content comes back to you from the creator, you can use that content in so many ways. You can use it on social media, for example, both organic and paid. So, you know, Instagram, YouTube, whatever your main platform is, where you are the most present and where your customers are, you can use this UGC post to actually 
help you create more engagement on those platforms and, and really build more trust and authenticity and a stronger connection with your followers there. UGC content can also give your advertising campaigns a major boost by using real people and real experiences. You can create ads that feel more authentic and relatable to your potential customers. Testimonial ads can be especially effective whether they appear on social media, on your website, on your product page, on your website, for example, you can use UGC to add shoppable lifestyle images from customers to your website. This not only makes your site more visually appealing, but it can also increase the time people spend on your site, the conversion rate, and the average order value. So it's a win-win, really. <laughs> uh, product pages, you can take this a step further and incorporate that content onto your actual product pages, your product listing. This is a very smart move. Um, there's actually studies that prove that conversions uh, can be improved by, I think, up to 64% for uh, listings that have UGC content in their actual listing page. Email marketing, you can add that content to your emails, you can make them more engaging, more trustworthy, which then again, increase clicks through rates, increase traffic that you drive from those emails and revenue from those emails. So the sky is the limit here in how you can use that UGC content um, to help you boost your revenue, to help you get more sales. So I hope that you're excited about UGC now that you know what it is and how you can use it, that you're going to jump on that trend and start using it for your brand to get more sales, more revenue and sell more products. If you're considering using UGC for paid ads, uh, there's a video showing on your screen right now that I made to help you decide whether you're ready for paid ads inside of your business or not. I recommend that you watch that one next. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, au revoir.